Hey everybody, welcome to Rebootleggers. This is a comedy podcast where we reboot everything that we think needs it. I'm Scott Owen. I'm Frank Sarah. Today we're talking, we're just gonna just, we're not even gonna tease you with it. We're talking about Shrek, the internet's Shrek. favorite boy. Ro. Frank, when did Shrek become an internet sensation? Um, many, many years after the actual movie came right? out. Right? Like, what happened? Now... Like, I feel like it was the past uh, three years. I know I'm taking a risk in doing this right now, but I'm just going to Google Shrek. Just Shrek. Mm. And, okay, yes, I'm seeing um, a lot of images of him in uh, Shadow the Hedgehog being parents. What the hell? That is uh, not something that we have time to cover. Okay. It's deeply unsettling. And I don't, uh, I don't like it. Oh wait! Now here's... this is important because um, there are two camps. Uh-huh. Which one of them is pregnant? Which one of them is pregnant? Mm-hmm. In this Shadow, one, Shadow or Shrek? In this one, it's it's Shadow who is. Okay, pregnant. that's. Um, I don't want to get too political, but that is my camp. Your in that, camp is... in, in that debate is that Shadow is the pregnant one. Is Shadow is the pregnant one? Okay. Now, uh, but wait, their baby is is a pony. Uh, I don't know about that. Deeply unsettling. Deeply unsettling the internet, taking every every last spark of joy and innocence and turning it into a weird sex thing. Good good work, internet. Um, did you hear the news that they're talking about rebooting Shrek? This is actually like a preboot, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Um, sh- uh, it'll mm-hmm. exist. It'll I exist. Don't know, I don't know why, because it barely needs us to reboot it, let alone actual Hollywood. Right. Yeah, it's a bit much. I agree with you. Here's the other thing. So this movie came out in 2000? 2001. And one. April 22nd. I was 11 years old at the time of this movie. I remember my brother driving me to the theater to drop me off. And beforehand, he said, now it's going to give you a heads up. The ogre in this movie does gross things. He, like, makes – he eats eyeballs and stuff. And I was like, uh, okay. Thanks for the heads up, bro. Um, and this, would you say this is the movie that really put Smash Mouth on the map? Or was Smash Mouth oh, already big there? Time. Big time. This this introduced Smash Mouth to a younger generation. A younger generation. Thing. We already knew about Smash Mouth, but all the six-year-olds mm-hmm. didn't. They did not. And then they, but then they did. Yeah. Now, Wikipedia says the featured song of this movie is I'm a Believer. Is it not All-Star? Uh, apparently not. I I want I just don't I don't I don't agree. I if you if you had asked me to guess, I would have said All Star. Right, that's what I'm saying. Now, didn't All Star do that version of that song too, though? I mean, Smash Mouth. Sorry, it wasn't Smash Mouth the one who sings. It the was song Smash in the movie? Mouth's cover of "I'm a Believer." Yeah. So I mean, at least Smash Mouth is still e- getting either some way. play. But yeah, I still don't I don't agree with that. Um I mean, so just for anybody who for some reason doesn't know Shrek is an ogre who lives in a swamp, just wants to be left alone. And there's a lot of he lives in a fairy tale world. And then there's uh uh But he's not a fairy tale man. He's just trying to he's just trying to live his goddamn life. Yeah, he's just trying to live his goddamn life. And then there's an evil lord Lord mm-hmm. Farquaad, who wants to appropriate what is he's getting rid of all the all the fantasy he's objects. basically bulldozing it all to make disney world it, no the, he he first all the other fantasy characters have to, the fairy tale characters go live in the swamp because lord farquaad for some reason kicked them out of their homes yeah isn't he like bulldozing all he's like bulldozing the land or something isn't he no i forget he's just like got a bounty out for fairy tale creatures for some reason and then they all get put in the swamp there's a reason for it nobody knows uh, so then all the fairy tale creatures live in Shrek's swamp, and Shrek's like, oh, hell no. This is my swamp. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So then he goes to the Lord Farquaad, and he's like, hey, stop this. And Farquaad's like, look, you go rescue a princess for me in Tower Fight Dragon, and I will I will give you your swamp back. And so Shrek does that. But then... Boy, does he not want to, though. The Boy, does he not want to. But then he does fall in love with... The princess, who is a human. Mm-hmm. And. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except. Yeah. She's a human. Except at night. Oh, she can turn into an ogre because she, she's been. She, 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 it's not a can. It's a must. <laughs> <laughs> at she, night, she turns into an ogre. Uh, she and, is and cursed. 
That's why she was locked in the tower is because of her monstrous ogre form. Yeah, and then the curse is that oh, when she kisses her true love, she will take love's true form. Love's true form. Uh, Shrek, there's a misunderstanding on the road. They have a fight. Shrek delivers her to Lord Farquaad. She's like, yeah, I'm going to get to kiss a man and become a lady forever. Shrek realizes his mistake and that he is in love with her, runs to the wedding, interrupts it. And then she turns into an ogre before their eyes. And then she and Shrek. Well, in in between that, in between erupting and and turning into, he does kiss her because that's the true love kiss. No, he kisses her after she turns into an ogre. And then she goes up. No, oh, it's one hundred percent correct. No, no, no. He then he kisses her, and then the magic happens. Yes, that she stays. And then she over. goes through a Beauty and the Beast style floating in the air transformation where she doesn't change, and it's because turns the out true form of love is, is ogre. apparently an ogre for her. Yeah, and I don't know. What, well, no, that doesn't say for her. That's what oh. true love's form is in Ooh, the universe. Love's true form is ogre. Is ogre <laughs> interesting? She, all all the humans that we see, they're greedy. They're selfish. They and, are not love. They're not love. Love's true form is Agra. Oh, also, and then the donkey falls in love with the dragon, who is too mm-hmm. big for him. And they do make babies in the sequel, but which we will not be covering yeah, this week. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Oh, and then also the dragon eats Lord Farquaad, and it puts him in his belly. And goes, bro. And then I think this is the first movie. I think this is the one that... Ever. This is the, no, it's the first movie. Yes, two thousand one. I, I think this is the one that introduced the let's all let's just have all our CGI characters have a dance party at the end for no reason. It if it wasn't the first, it was like in the first five. Yeah, it was like the one that made it a big thing. Mm-hmm. So then, like every CGI because character, it's because for CGI it's free to make them dance. That comes with the software. Yeah, and it's just a very easy way to end a movie instead of mm-hmm. like trying to figure it out. They're like, oh, let's just have them all dance for some We're reason. We're just all gonna dance to the, to an end song, and all the all the characters, even the characters that were mean <laughs> before, are dancing. Yeah, and they, I mean, they still do it to this day. They did it in Zootopia. Mm-hmm. They did it in <sighs> Trolls, and. Uh, 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 name name two more. I feel like they had to have done it in Kung Fu Panda, right? Oh, sh- super duper. And every one, probably. And then, uh, uh, I think they probably, I don't know. I don't know. In Finding Nemo, they, they did it. Did they? 90% sure. That bums me out, because Pixar's above DreamWorks in the food chain. Not much, I guess, because DreamWorks d- can swear sometimes. Ooh, yes. Hey, well, and that's the other thing. This is the power, the power that DreamWorks has over the other ones, mm-hmm. is that people people kind of, like, people, like, forget this and kind of just mentally skip over it. Mm-hmm. Sh- of Shrek's runtime, it is a solid 15 to 20% butt fart gross slimy gross gross jokes yeah and that's something that only dreamworks has a handle on yeah uh yeah yeah nobody yeah I name a you... disney movie with a butts joke a disney movie with a butts joke i'm trying real hard to think of one i think the hunchback of notre dame gargoyle makes a fart joke and that was 1990 Eight or something yeah that's an old one also speaking so, of that movie i recently like i think i only saw that movie once and just recently i like saw a clip from it the other day and holy fuck that movie had cool animation yeah it was it was it's was, it was extremely good it's extremely good and maybe i should give it another chance because it was always pretty low on my list uh okay let's get into our first segment called love it or leave it love me or leave me this is where we talk about what we're going to keep what we're going to get rid of we're going to keep ogres we're going to keep ogres, but here is my question, Scott. Mm-hmm. Are we going to keep the green, weird radio antenna ear? Is there another kind of ogre you would approve of? Our fairy tale is, – is fairy tale CGI played out is my mm. question. Can, we, can he be an ogre in spirit but not form? But not for him. So you want him to Maybe like he's a just a very, dude? a very grumpy John Goodman. Okay, I love John Goodman, but is John Goodman as a human going to have to do like gross things like fart and be sweaty? He's going to have to fart. He's going to have to sweat. Mm. He's going to have to come out of toilets and go, don't go in there. Uh, 
Okay, so you don't know that you want to keep CG. You know, I mean, in the spirit of a good reboot, let's shake it up. Let's let's shake it up. Cuz I mean, let's Disney is bringing in all of their, you know, real person next oh, to a live action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's genie. get in Let's get let's our do, let's get DreamWorks in on that I, train. Yeah, I, at the risk of setting up expectations that are too high, I kind of want to space jam this, where like John Goodman's a real person. Most people are real people. Donkey's got to be CGI. Nothing we can do about that. You won't want him to just be a regular donkey who can talk but doesn't move his mouth. Um, or like uh, we just do peanut butter in the mouth. I'm okay with that. You. Always want to put peanut butter in these animals' mouths. It is time-tested. I would argue that Homeward Bound does it better by not making the animals' mouths move at all. It's just oh, we, we can know do it's that them. too. And then, so what happens is that John Goodman has donkey telepathy. Is this what we're going for? Because uh, <laughs> I'm also okay with that. I'm just asking. <laughs> so John Goodman. Hey, hey. Is it like what women want, but instead it's donkeys? John Goodman and Shrek are now the Beastmaster. Okay. Did, did we reboot Beastmaster at one point? I feel like we rebooted we, Beastmaster. We might point. have. Yeah. Either way, about Beastmaster. But you want John yeah. Goodman, the o, the Agre, to be the how about it? What if we can fix it and make it this way? <clears throat> Donkey mm-hmm. has the power of human telepathy. Oh. That's why everyone can talk to him, but no one else is special for doing it. Okay. Because a talking donkey is already one leap, right? Right. And if, if Shrek had donkey telepathy, that's two leaps, and mm-hmm. I, I just want I want to keep one leap. Okay. So donkey is smart and has telepathy. So are we keeping the fairy tale character setting? <clears throat> um, the thing that everyone loved about this movie is it like takes the fairy tales, but it's ca- it's pretty irreverent towards them, if you know what, what I mean. I'm. What if we do a um? You know, like how there's those movies where it's like Hamlet, but with guns. Yeah, it's called um. That's called West Side Story. What if um? Wait, no, it's uh-huh. not. That's Hamlet with dancing. What if it's like you know, like the Pixies are like a street gang? I was wrong. That's Romeo and Juliet. Sorry. Um, Hamlet with guns. Now wait, the Pixies are a street gang. They're like a street gang, and there's like turf wars. Turf wars, in the swamp. And the swamp is the nickname of the bad part of town. So you want to get rid of the swamp and make upset it in a city? Well, no, I want to keep a swamp because it's right. still a swamp. There's just not. Is like, it literally a swamp though? Tons of cranberries. A cranberry swamp? You a cranberry bog? You're interested in having here? Well, what if that's the only nod though? That Shrek like, lived. Like, it's not an actual swamp with, like, big holes in it. Yeah, I'm wondering, is it set in a city? Yeah, yeah. Where, like, the swamp is yeah. Shrek's. Yeah, because, like, Get Out of My Swamp is, like, this is my city. Yeah, well, the swamp is just part of a city, so we want to make The it... swamp is is the neighborhood. Get out of my swamp. So you want to take out of Shrek and turn it into the wire. Uh, I didn't, I didn't. Yes. You, you said it and made me realize that's what I want to do. Okay. Also, you haven't seen The Wire, have you? I've seen some of The Wire. Okay. I saw the fuck scene. Okay. And by that, I mean the scene where they do the whole scene just saying the word fuck. Oh, okay. Because yeah, there's other ones, too. Yeah. But the one, the one that's very famous where they just say butts. fuck over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just dive right into... This is the thing I really want to talk about now. So we're going to go to segment two called When and Where. Which is where we talk about setting and genre. I really want to get into the meat of this city setting. Mm -hmm. So now Lord Farquaad is no longer like a king. Is he like the mayor? Well, he's a king. You see, we're keeping all of these analogies. Well, so that's what I was going to ask. Is he is he a crime king who is called the king? Well, he's actually the lord. Or is he like to keep the analogy going? Is is he like the governor or like the mayor of this city who is now being tough I, on crime? I kind of like the mayor because it keeps he's still the legitimate legal ruler. Right, he's the legal even ruler. even though he's doing shady things. He's, he's doing the shady mayor. things. Right. So now and so he is he cracking down on. 
gangs and so the gangs are forced to flee the swamp into the swamp into aka the, the bad swamp. part of town the yeah. very very bad part of town which nobody yeah. goes to nobody goes to because that's that's shrek town it's shrek's it's shrek's it's shrek's zone which does that mean that now we have to is shrek now an established player in this because in the in the original movie no one knows about shrek he keeps to himself Nobody's aware that they're infringing on his territory until he steps out of his house and suddenly there's mm. fairy tale people aplenty. Let's shift it around. The swamp is not so dangerous that gangs avoid it. The swamp is just like abandoned. Yeah, like nobody goes to the swamp. Yeah. Ex- except Shrek, but only Shrek knows that. Yeah, only Shrek knows he lives in the swamp. The sh- the swamp yeah, is yeah, like Yeah, 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 yeah. So then all the gangs start flooding into into the swamp. And then we get a shot-for-shot shot remake of the opening scene of Shrek. So we see John Goodman <laughs> picking wax out of his ear and plunking it down onto the table. Gross. And, and he's all eating that. eyeballs. And he's eating eyeballs. They're goat eyeballs, not people eyeballs. So he's like a weird – oh, I was going to say he's like a weird cannibal man. Okay, so he's no. just – And he's, he's got on the great, you know, like tank. He's like a sweaty tank top. Is he but... green? <laughs> Maybe he's like like we open up John Goodman, right? Mm-hmm. And we we put like a green layer over him, but it's like 5%. Why do they call him the ogre? He he calls himself the ogre. Is he is he mentally What deranged? if they don't what if no one calls him the ogre, but he just is an ogreish he's an ogre-ish person? Man. He's big. He's always a little bit sweaty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's a little bit sweaty a lot of the time. He is John just, Goodman. And he's very he's big. Just, John Goodman will fill in some of it, and then we'll <laughs> kind of just miss them bet- in before shots. Now John Goodman is gonna also do his own voice. We're not gonna get Mike Myers to do his voice. No. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really liking the idea of these like <laughs> these two PAs on set with squirt bottles who just before every shot have to just kind of miss John Goodman get, to get him sweaty. Get John Goodman nice and moist. Like every scene of Atlanta, because because Paperboy is always so sweaty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So in this city, is this like a? Have you seen the Warriors? No. Have you seen Hotel Artemis? No. Have you seen Escape from New York? No. <sighs> why don't that that's I'm over three, so why don't you just explain to me like I haven't? What I'm going for here is it's kind of like a near future. It, it won't be a real city, but it can be like an L.A. or a New York analog where mm-hmm. it's all like is the city run by gangs mostly. Is it like a, a near future okay. dystopia? Not so we're dystopia talking... to the point of YA fiction, just dystopia to the point where like things are kind of shitty, and now this new mayor coming in and like trying to crack down on the gang violence, take back the streets. Have you seen that episode of American Dad where Steve and his friends have to get through the school and all the different school faction kids are yeah, like yeah, attacked? Yeah. That's the Warriors. Okay, I get you. So we're talking late eighties LA, but it's it's not the eighties, it's modern yeah gangs everywhere so Each- what we what we do need is for mayor farquad mm-hmm. to be doing something wrong so that shrek can bust him yeah for sure because he's got to get his chops busted down yeah and this works because so because if we're gonna have each fairy tale analog be like a a, a gang one of the things that's fun and great about the warriors is each gang is basically like an anime gang where they have a thing capital one T theme thing. yeah so there's like a gang of baseball guys there's a gang of uh in like native american indian guys who are the warriors the main characters there's like a gang of leather guys like everybody's every gang has a thing and each gang controls a very specific piece of territory in new york and the warriors are stranded in the middle of it uh, they are framed for the murder of the one man who is going to unite all the gangs. And so now all the gangs want to kill the warriors. So I'm not saying we have to do a one for one analog here. I just want, I want the setting to be a city where each, each chunk of town is controlled by a specific gang or was controlled by a specific gang until mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mayor Farquad showed up and started displacing them with his, I guess super cops. He's got to have some sort of. Yeah, force. he's probably got like robot super cops, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Like androids of the law. Maybe no one goes to the swamp because it's like rumored to be irradiated, and that's why Shrek is very, very, yeah, very dude. slightly green. Oh yes, yes, and ogres naturally, they eat radiation like onions. I like onions. Oh, he's gonna have an onion. He eats onions like apples in every possible I just, way I think... <laughs> that it makes sense for him to be holding an onion. I wasn't necessarily gonna say that he eats onions, but that's fine. I was just gonna say there every shot with John Goodman, there has to be an onion somewhere in the shot as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just that usually he's eating it like usually an apple. Usually he's eating it like an apple. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. he, like, peels it like an orange. Sometimes <laughs> he, like, slices it like oh, an he, orange. He peels it like an orange, but then only eats the skin. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's mm. pretty good. And onions have some instrumental way in the final fight. Yeah, so like about he makes layers. him cry or he just throws it like a rock. I feel like he's going to We'll get say, there. I feel like We'll he, figure it out when we get there. Yeah, he has to have a line where he says something about like, "Didn't you know onions have layers or something?" And, and then, then he sheds his skin. Oh god. <laughs> and he's an ogre. And then he becomes Mike Myers Shrek. Like a CGI ogre <laughs> monster that it just and he just punches him and he's dead. Okay, so there's our setting. Let's and then he dies. <laughs> he dies. This is this is R rated, Scott. <laughs> Wait, which one dies? Mayor Farquhar or Shrek? <laughs> Mayor Farquhar. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I really, really like the visual of Shrek in his true love's form of an ogre. He winds up and he punches Mayor Farquaad and then just dies. goes down and dies. Like well, that was maybe, maybe that one to, because he was using all of his life force. Basically. Yeah, maybe to get to Mayor Farquaad, he had to fight through a ton of robots who shot yeah, him a lot. He just kind of he he, he unleashes true love's form, which is which is an ogre, as we know. He clocks Lord Farquaad True form square in the head move. with a double overhand smash, and then his Shrek ogre heart just quits. <laughs> okay, let's get into our next segment called Who Can It Be? Who can it be now? This is where we talk about characters and casting. I am very eager to cast these characters as like gangland people so we've already mm -hmm. got shrek is he's gonna be john goodman living in the swamp aka the weird irradiated part of the city talk to me about donkey so and, donkey. and it works perfectly because they're like it's gay street gang guys so they're all gonna just have weird nicknames like mm -hmm. donkey yeah although donkey is a donkey still right oh because of donkey telepathy oh or is he just a drug mule Can Donkey guy. just be Donald Glover being a drug mule? Yeah. And he shows up at Shrek's and he's like, yo, I got your onions. Because they're illegal. Onions are illegal for some reason. Okay. But then he goes, I got to crash here when all the people show up. And okay. He goes, we're making pancakes. I, If Donald Glover said in real life we're making pancakes, I would hear Donkey. Oh. Oh, yeah. He does. He, he says we're making waffles. I see what you did. Okay. Did I say pancakes? You did say pancakes. In this movie, it's pancakes. Yeah, waffles are sure. also illegal. Sure. Um. Okay. I know, but then Shrek says, I actually want waffles. And that's mm. how we tie it. And then he says, okay. That's fine. Okay. So now, so in this movie, they've been exiled to, well, I guess we got to get there with plot, but I do need to, we got to talk about what's. What's Princess Fiona's deal in this? Is she in prison? Like, Shrek's not going to go rescue her in this movie anymore, right? Hmm. No, I, we can keep... Like, Shrek goes into the mayor's office, and he says, Look, there's somebody I want you to find. Slides him a dossier. Okay, and it's in the this princess. Movie, capital T, like, capital Like, princess in a tower will be kind of morphed to, like, she's some kind of on-the-run... Yeah, okay, okay. She's you know? someone that he maybe like it could should it be his daughter? No. Like No. His ex-wife? No. W what about like uh political engagement fiance but she ran away? I, okay, there's the, I that's not bad. I was going to say what if the princess is like she was, like, a major player in the gang war, but she has been, like, he for some reason needs her for his plan to get rid of all the gangs. Oh, yes. But the princess as, is... As long as she's out there, the gangs believe that they can come back. Yeah, or some, but also the he princess... He needs to imprison her and show the rest of the gangs Okay. that 
this is the this is I'm shutting you down. I was gonna say, what if the princess? So okay, so now instead of being imprisoned, she is now like her her main muscle bodyguard is the dragon, who's just like a big scary just lady. Just this beef monster, yes. But then, but now that means that Shrek has taken the princess unwillingly. Like, what's that about? Mm. Because in the original movie, she does wish to be rescued from the dragon. What if the dragons are the only gang that the mayor can't get his hands around to exile? Mm -hmm. And they do have the princess captive. They do have the princess captive. He needs her for some reason, for some political reason. Mm -hmm. If he can get the princess on his side, the other gangs will fall in line. And then their combined might can take out the dragons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and then he, and then the one that Donkey bones is just like the leader of the dragons, right? Because they do bone in canonically they, and, they make, in Shrek. and they make babies. Yeah, canonically in Shrek they do bone like a lot, like a lot of yeah, babies. like eight babies. Uh, okay, now um, who plays Princess Fiona? The princess. Hmm. Just throw some names. We could get uh, Gina Rodriguez. We could get. Uh, I mean, we could always get any of the Riverdale ladies. We could get M M Mae Whitman, I guess. We could get Christina Hendricks. We could get Retta. I'm just thinking who... who I, ca I kind of like the... I like the visual of Retta. Because I, I, I want someone where I believe that they can just clock someone with their fist. Mm -hmm. She and does just do put karate. Them on the she fights... Robin Hood's Merry Mans. Yeah. Okay, who's playing Lord Farquaad, the mayor Farquaad? Do you want to just get John Lithgow? I think he would do it. I think he'd do it. He's a good dude, too. Uh, okay, now I just want to talk, like, I just love, I want to just list you some characters and just imagine how perfectly they work as, like, gangland guys. I mean, first of all, you've got Monsieur Robin Hood, Gingerbread Man. Geppetto, Pinocchio, the three blind mice, Big Bad Wolf, like all of these would work so well as just like any like Theme. Gingerbread Man is of course like a drug dealer. Geppetto yes, of course oh, makes guns. I got that guns. gingerbread. Yeah. Geppetto makes guns mm -hmm. with Pinocchio. Yeah. The three blind mice are like spies. They're like three guys who run a network of spy gangs. The blind yes. mice are like sneaky guys. Um, the big bad wolf and the three little pigs run scams together. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, we'll get uh, Dylan and Cole in here as Geppetto and Pinocchio, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they'll mm -hmm, they'll mm -hmm. take a minor role in this. I know we normally give them a leading role, but I think we're going to have to shake things up this time. Okay. Let's get to our final segment called What's Going On? What's going on? What's going on? This is where we plot the this this bitch out. So, we've already got a pretty good skeleton of a plot here where so mayor so setting, you know, near future mm -hmm. but the 80s version of the The near city future. colon gangs are run them run them themed gangs run amok themed gangs run amok you've got okay so wait what are our gangs real quick robin hood's got his merry men of course yeah we've 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 got robin hood and the merry men we've got uh um the dragons the dragons now i don't want like i don't want like 32 uh -huh. gangs you know what i mean so no, what about like the I mean, um like we can like the that animals? A shit ton of gangs. Yeah, okay. Like the, the animals are like your three little pigs, three blind mice, like magic talking animals, like that kind of general umbrella. Mm. Who are your the gingerbread animals. man? What he part of? Gingerbread mans are uh like him and Pinocchio are both kind of like the same group of fairy tale. I guess they're like, like a thing come to life. Yeah, like the, the just like the the puppets is weird. That's not like a yeah. Name I mean, for I could see like the puppet, the puppet. I don't know. Like Geppetto's got to be the head of a gang. Oh, big time! With Pinocchio as his right hand man, and he's got the. I can't think of anything besides the puppets. The so puppets. I guess they're they're, they're, guess they're, they're just the puppets. the puppets. Yeah, and then you've got the dragons. Um, mm -hmm. 
the animals and okay yeah this that's all fine okay so then uh so the mayor newly elected mayor running on a campaign of squashing the gang cleaning up the streets cleaning up the streets getting rid of the gangs he so one day john goodman shrek wakes up and he's like doing all his things and he does the earwax he eats eyeballs and he farts like a lot like there's a steady cam shot of him walking down the hallway farting continuously for 10 seconds so we're gonna do that scene where it's just like shrek doing things and then we we move away from oh shrek. i got one really quick though this is gonna be great okay he turns on the radio when uh, when he gets up and it's all star by smash mouth mm-hmm. but like after like five seconds he goes like oh and he turns the radio back off yeah that's pretty good that's pretty dang good okay so then so we see that opening shot of him doing gross things then we cut to donkey running away from robots mm-hmm. and they're like beep boop like like their arms are guns and their eyes are the thing where it's like the one red stripe with like the ticker running across it. Yeah, like, like the Cylons. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah, like this. All oh, the old Cylons. Old yeah. Cylons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, he does run into the. They chase him into the swamp. A donkey. Maybe we see like the the robots just chasing a ton of people, but then we focus on Donkey. Yeah, because he actually jumps into a house. Yeah, he thought the house was abandoned, but it turns out Shrek's house. Boom. Shrek comes what out. What are you doing in my swamp? Yeah, <sighs> Shrek comes out and just wrecks those robots. Yeah. Oh, is it just like single haymakers to the face? Yeah, is like, just punching I want to get across this. I want to get across this, um, this like feeling that he's not just a tall guy. Like, he is a human right. truck. He's been living in an irradiated, things. quote unquote, yeah. swamp for a bit. Like, he just haymakes and just puts down these robots with like, yeah. it single hits. The fact that he has to fight is not an object in the movie for Shrek. It's mm-hmm. about why. Right. And then he goes, what are you doing in my swamp? We're going to voice coach for John Goodman. Yeah. Is he still going to be Scottish? Probably not. It all depends on it all depends on Goodman. We'll give him we'll give him five days with the vocal coach. If he can pull off Scottish for the full script, I'm okay with it. Yeah, we'll see what he can do. Okay. Um What are you doing, in my swamp? Fucks up the robots. Then uh Donkey tells him, Oh, it's the mayor, he's shoving everybody out, and Shrek's like, Hell no. I have maybe does he have like legal precedent for why he gets to own like he's he literally legally the swamp he, owner yeah like he owns the whole city blocks and he's like you can't send them in here and lord farquaad is mayor farquaad is like all right you do something for me go get the go get the the princess she's being held by the dragons and donkey's like all right i'm coming too um i'll bring the waffles i'll bring the waffles and then they get they i guess to, i guess they still walk i don't really they have a motorcycle like i don't I don't really want Shrek to drive. Yeah, no, he walks. Nobody really drives in the city because mm-hmm. there's an energy shortage, maybe. Because all the lawmaking robots suck up the power grid. Right. And yeah. as everyone knows, cars run on the city's wireless power grid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then he goes and he sa- he rescues the princess from dragons. They fight. Well, and then Donkey fucks yeah i mean yeah she's gonna see him and be like hello uh i love you i'm into you and then she chase they both escape and then later she'll show up and then that night is when the transformation occurs oh there's still a transformation now by transformation i do just mean like bulks up turns a little bit green Mm mm-hmm like a Jekyll and Hyde thing where, like, it's not actually – it's not the Hulk, but it is, like, a physical change. Okay. And then Shrek realizes – oh, sorry. Hang on. And then Shrek realizes you're like me. You're also mildly irradiated. Mildly irradiated. Do you irradiated. enjoy onions? Here's an onion. <laughs> you also have true love's form. And then she says, I, I would love an onion as long as you let me keep the skin, too, of the onion. Oh, Gross. Because they both eat the skin, as we previously said. Okay, covered. and then they get jumped by Robin Hood and his merry men. They kick their asses. While farting, yep. Yeah, while farting. They're, they're both farting while they do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and we just kind of do one for one on the way back. The Shrek and Fiona realize they love each other. Mm-hmm. And then they get in a fight around a campfire, and Fiona walks away. Or Shrek walks away. I forget which one walks away. 
Trek walks away. Now, te- well, he still brings her back, but he like he's like, I'm, hey, I'm going back to my swamp. Now, what does is why what does he save her from at the end with Lord Farquaad? Like, what's he gonna do? Just a just a public execution, or oh, are we God. still going with the marriage? I don't think it should be marriage. I think it was gonna be some legally binding thing, but maybe now it was just a trap because. Maybe we go with what your original idea was, where the princess was, like, the one thing that the gangs would unite around, and then he's like, look, I've got your princess, I'm gonna kill her. Yeah, yeah. And then so Shrek, Shrek then publicly broadcasts Oh, and then he, st- he stops the guillotine blade with an onion. Yeah, it's pronounced guillotine, come on. But he does He stops do it, with, it an with an onion. He stops Easy. it with an onion. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, uh, uh. I got, I got. He he holds up the onion. And he goes, onions. Onions have so many layers that it's not going to cut through all of them, and it it doesn't. It weirdly it does the, it. It cuts through the first like thirteen. He's like, "What are you going to do with an onion?" He says, "I'm going to stop you." And he pulls out an onion. He's like, "What are you going to do with that?" And he's like, "Haven't you heard? Don't you know? Onions have layers. Onions have layers." And then, and then he he sticks the onion in there. Yeah, this is after he's fought through a ton of robots, and then the dragons have showed up to team up with them because they're like, mm-hmm. "Look, donkey, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't get you out of my head, donkey." And then uh, he, and then he, ki- he does kiss her on the mouth. He kisses her on the mouth, <laughs> and then she becomes permanently irradiated. Yeah, and then as kind of wait, so we got to this ending. <laughs> is Shrek still gonna? Is he gonna throw? punch Mayor Farquaad and die? St- and then die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think this is this is this is our gritty, realistic version of this movie. He's so yeah, gonna, he, he just fought he through a ton of robots. Up He's one been last shot time. a lot. Yeah, and then he got yeah. punched Lord Farquaad with tr- love's true form. And I mean, he his head goes all, Farquaad's head goes all the way around. Right? <laughs> yeah, all the way around <laughs> because he punched it. Because he punched it, Sergeant Hatred style. And then, uh, and then he does die. And then do and they it, have a dance party set to All-Star's cover then, of I'm a Believer? I mean, Smash Mouth. I keep calling him All-Star. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, I think we get, like, a shot of, like, a, a, the funeral for a hero of Shrek. Mm-hmm. And then it says six months later, and Donkey and Dragon's kids are running around while they're on, oh, and then they all have a dance party. Um, does Shrek's hand come out of the grave? Because the irradiation. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe his hand comes out of the grave. And then and then and then it just starts playing disco music. Why disco music? At the end of Shrek, they're dancing. They're, it's a disco song. Yeah, but it's a modern rock cover. You're saying you want the original Neil Diamond song? It's at the end of the movie. It's not "I'm a Believer," is it? That thought that was only in the beginning. No, that's the the beginning of the end. Yeah, like I thought, like when they actually like hit the dance floor, it like changed songs. No, when they hit the dance, the whole song is "I'm a Believer." Oh, they're all well, singing I guess it's it. Just, like Donkey I guess it's is just singing that. it. It's been 18 years. I don't know what you expect from me. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay, so that's the movie. Uh, you want to do a food pairing? Is it gonna be gross? I. It's probably gonna be gross. Is the thing that I don't really want to do it. Uh, I mean, what kind of Mountain Dew are we drinking? Regular, cause it's green. Regular, cause it's green. Put a slice of onion in there. Put a slice of onion in there. Maybe like just... a lemon. You know what I mean? What if can 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 the can the snacks just be like sour cream and onion chips, maybe? <laughs> what if it's? Do you remember that toy from the '90s where it's a it's a science laboratory thing where you squirt in the stuff and it makes gummies shaped like scorpions? Creepy crawlers, yeah, dude. Creepy crawlers, go find one. That's on not for eBay. eating though. Those the things weren't gummy, chewable either. Use gelatin, Scott. It's not that hard. <laughs> you don't you don't bake Jello. What creepy crawlers weren't baked? I thought it was just like a thing that hardened. I don't remember. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I gotta go. No, no. Hold on. No, I think you're right. I was thinking of the Queasy Bake Oven at the same time, which is Easy Bake, but... Oh, that's not anything. No, the Queasy Bake Oven was something. It was a weird marketing thing for boys where it's like, it's an Easy Bake Oven, but you can make gross things that are just baked goods. Yeah, so just go buy, like, a gummy scorpion. Yeah, and and, then eat it. And and go like, oh, and then eat it. Yeah, and then eat it. Oh, uh okay that's gonna do it for us thanks so much everybody for listening if you like the show please give us a good rating and review on itunes that would help us out so much for visibility and if you know anyone who you think would like the show please tell your friends just tell them about it you could tweet about it you could share it around on the web on the internet we do have a website it's called rebootleggers.net it just recently got updated it looks real nice and um until next time i'm scott owen i'm frank sarah frank what is our password for next week Our password for next week is Onion.